A Memphis amateur radio operator has been talking with a man who is out of this world. It's a remarkable story. He's talking to astronauts on the International Space Station as it orbits the Earth. Action News 5's Ben Watson has the story. Yeah, VK2 APG, uh, stroke whiskey 7. From an upstairs room at his home in Cordova. Amateur radio operator Tom Metlin talks with people around the world. But so far, his greatest accomplishment has been the recent communications he established with the International Space Station orbiting Earth and the ship's commander, Douglas Wheelock. I remember my first contact when I did it. It was like, wow, this is, this is great. I talked to the, the commander of the International Space Station. In the past several weeks, Medlin, head of International Telecommunications for FedEx Latin American Division, has talked with Commander Wheelock 27 times. They've discussed everything from weightlessness to the beautiful view from space. That's the Straits of Gibraltar right there. During one of the conversations, they got to talking about Memphis. Then the subject turned to Memphis barbecue. Medlin played that part of the conversation on these speakers. Well, I'm ready for it. Uh, I'm ready for it. Is it quirky up there? Medlin says he hopes to meet the commander someday. Meanwhile, he's already making plans to FedEx some Corky's barbecue to the Space Center in Houston and have it arrive just in time for the commander's return to Earth November 30th. Ben Watson, Action News 5. That's pretty great right there. Corky just got a cool ad all the way from space. Elite 1 SS, Whiskey 5, Kilo Uniform Bravo. Whiskey 5, Kilo Uniform Bravo. We got you loud and clear aboard the space station, November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. Okay, Colonel, thank you very much. Uh, I know you're coming down soon. Uh, I'd like to FedEx you some famous Memphis barbecue if you'll take it over. Well, I'm ready for it. Uh, I'm ready for it. Is it, is it, uh, I can't remember the name. Is it Corky's up there? Uh, yes, sir. It'll be Corky's, and I'll FedEx some down to you down in uh, Houston if you if you guys can accept it. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, that'd be great to have waiting for me in the in the crew quarters once we come into quarantine after landing. Good uh, address. I, I've got your address there, but I didn't want to send it down here if you wasn't there. You know, it it might might spoil. Over. Oh, uh, let me give you a. Uh, uh, just put my name on it and um, and then put attention to, to uh, astronaut crew quarters and um, it'll be delivered there. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get it down here. Uh, hey, what will be a good day after November 30th? Over. We're really uh, privileged and honored to have you here. Thank you very much, Tom. I appreciate so, it. You mentioned the barbecue when you came up. Oh my goodness! Let me let me yeah. but let me let me lead into this. I know you've been eating out of a toothpaste tube for five months, yeah. and uh, the, all the guys here in Memphis we talked about that down there to you. And I started wondering now if he hadn't had anything to eat in five months, is he going to really eat barbecue when he gets back into quarantine? So how, how did it go? Oh, I ate that barbecue. I had it all over my face. It was, really? it was delicious. Right. You know, in, in space we. Uh, yeah, after six months, actually, once you're there for about three or four weeks, your uh, your senses get really dulled. Your sense of smell, your sense of taste, and the food is like these MRE meals. You know, the military meals. It's either in a piece of plastic and dehydrated, and you just add hot water to it, so it tastes sort of like warm plastic, mm -hmm. and uh, or a one of these military meals that's um, in a pouch that's been on a shelf somewhere for several years. And so it uh, it tastes like uh, not quite like mom used to make. So, so um, talking to Tom from space and um, and remembering, I've been to Memphis just a handful of times, and I remember I actually got I actually missed missed my flight connection there one time, and I spent a night in Memphis, and um, I was at the airport. I said, hey, where's a good place to get something to eat? And the guy looked at me. I can't remember. This is years ago, but he looked at me and said, you like barbecue? And I said, who doesn't? He says, well, we have the best barbecue in the land and uh, and uh, I never went back and so I and so I, um, I asked Tom I said boy I sure miss that Memphis uh, Corky's barbecue and he uh, he sent me some uh, back to Houston so as soon as my feet hit the ground I uh, I think I had a glass of water first and then uh, dug, uh, dug into some uh, Corky's barbecue that's, that's great uh, <laughs> we, we've got people calling in from uh, around the world here they okay. said get a
go ahead and give you a, a little gift that uh, Memphis crew here put okay. together for you. And uh, this is not the end. You don't have to roll. Okay. Okay. I want you to stay and okay. maybe answer some questions. Absolutely. But um, you worked so many Memphis stations that we we came up with a a uh, worked all Memphis certificate. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it worked all Memphis. And, uh, worked all Memphis. That's awesome. Uh, actually, let me let me let me clarify that. It's it's worked nearly all Memphis. <laughs> oh, so, I see that. Okay. And uh, it lists uh, the uh, uh, ham calls here for people that you talk to, and and basically it's just uh, our appreciation for all the contacts that uh, that you uh, had made with us. That's and, wonderful, uh, Tom. We, Thank uh, you. We uh, hope that uh, that's something that you can remember us by. Thank you very much. Well, I, I hope to get a, a chance to go back uh, to the space station. It'll probably be in three to four years. Uh, but I hope to maybe get a second command of that place. And um, I w this was only a, this is you ain't seen nothing yet with the ham radio uh, from the space station. If I get back, get a chance to get back up there, uh, we're going to make it even bigger and better. So, so we'll add we'll add some more stations on here for sure, and we'll get that nearly scratched off of there. So let's see, if we got some questions from around the world here. Absolutely, thank you for this, yeah. guys. Sure.